my little makeup lovers and welcome back to my channel. I bet you don't know what color I'm working with today. Can you take a guess on the color I'm going with here? If you don't say red, I'm a little worried about you. Just saying. Okay, this is a very bad wig. I got it at Party City. They have literally every color of wig you could possibly think there. If you're thinking of a color, they have it. So if you need a wig that is a certain color, go to Party City. They have little bobs, and then they have longer ones like this. So yeah, I picked this one because I'm a little scared to see what I would look like with short hair. I should have done it, but because it would have been like a little bob like to there, you know, which could have been cute. I don't know. I have too long of a face. I just don't think it sets me. Okay, why am I doing this today? Let me tell you why I'm doing this today. I was so graciously, somebody invited me in this collab with these women. Oh my goodness gracious. I am so blessed today to be working with such talented women. We are doing a monochromatic rainbow pride collab. And again, I think you see what color I picked. Red, red. And the idea of it is we are all the same, but we are all still unique, you know? Doesn't matter what your orientation is or your beliefs are, you know, we are one. We might have different wants, you know, different needs, but we are still beautiful human beings that deserve love and respect and kindness and laws that protect us, all of us, not just some of us, all of us. And we decided to do this monochromatic look for Pride Month. There are multiple women uh, doing this collab with myself who each has picked a color. Some of us might be using the same color because there's only so many colors in a rainbow. We know that. But it's going to be fun because nobody knows what the other person is doing. This is all just unique for ourselves. We pick the color. We pick our look with that color in mind. And there you go. I will tell you the ladies that I am working with. I am not doing this in any certain order. I just wrote down the name so nobody is favored over anybody else. I mean, I'm gonna say my bestie's name first. This is let to show you that I'm not picking favorites here. So we have Ann Morrison who has her channel. We have Betty Jean, otherwise known as Betty Bean. Betty Bean, oh, I said that wrong. We have Ann Morrison. We have Betty Jean, we have Valerie from Gimme Lip and More, we have Katie J, sorry. We have Ann Morrison, we have Betty Jean, we have Valerie from Gimme Lip and More, we have Kitty J, Kitty from Kitty J Havoc, we have Melin Moden, who has her own channel here. We have Anya, otherwise known as Pink Sweets. We have My Real Life California. We have Paulina from Paulina Beauty. I think we all know who she is. We have Jessica from Stars Hollywood Jessica. And we also have Teresa from Teresa is Dead. And I think that's everybody. Oh, please God, don't let me have forgotten anybody. I had to write everything down. Uh, my brain will remember four names, maybe. Not all these. So that is all the lovely women that will be in my description box below. So you go check out their channels. They're all so talented. I don't, I just, mm, the looks that are going to be done just mm, makes my little heart so happy. So I'm red. So I E Y the red, lovely hair. So let's get started. Um, I have so much red in front of me, it makes my heart just sing. Okay, I am probably gonna go into first, I'm gonna go into like 
from the ColourPop Lit Palette. And I'm also going to go into this red right here from the Huda Beauty. So I'm just gonna combine both of those and I'm gonna put them in the outer corner. So I'll put it down a little bit of light first and then we'll go into the other one. Gotta get my bangs. I have not had bangs and I cannot remember when. So I already uh, put my concealer down. So, and obviously I did not do my uh, foundation first. So, cause I planned on making a big old mess. You wanna know why I don't have bangs anymore? I had bangs up to probably 2013 and some person I knew, I don't hang around with her anymore. I'm going into the Huda Beauty now and getting a little of that red. She told me, aren't you a little old to be having bangs? I didn't know bangs were an age limit. I, I, I was unaware of that rule. So, but at that time I got my feelings hurt and then of course I grew out my bangs, which is fine. I like my hair now, but still at the time I was like, are you kidding me? I don't know. I don't know why people feel like they have the right to comment on other people's lives and what they're doing. But they do. They feel like they have the right to tell a person what to wear, what to say, what to think, who to date, who to love, who to marry. You know, I don't quite get where society feels like that's their right, but they do. Being all crazy like that, but don't worry we're going to fix it. So I'm gonna take, oh, uh, let's clean it off. I'm gonna take my Morphe 507 brush and I'm gonna go into, oh, whatever. And I'm gonna use this color to blend it out a little bit. And I'm also gonna take a little bit of Peridot and kind of blend those two shades together. And we're gonna blend that out. Although I can see why these bangs would be annoying. I know a lot of people love to wear wigs, but I've had this sad wig on now for probably a couple hours because I keep getting uh, distracted. Let's just say that. And I'm not getting my stuff done that I wanted to get done, my filming, because somebody keeps either calling me or whatnot and I don't get it done. So I've had this wig on now for way too long. And it's itchy, it's hot. And I know it's just a fake synthetic one and it's you know not a nice wig and I'm sure those wigs are very very nice but this sucker is very very hot and very very itchy which I think a lot of synthetic wigs are all right this is making it a little too light light so I'm just going to take a dot of this right here and kind of blend that into it because I want red, I don't want like peachy. I'm gonna bring that back into my crease line a little bit. I know I should probably pin these bangs back, but I look like a complete dork when I do that. So, not that I'm not looking kind of dorky right now. You don't need to tell me that. I know it. If somebody tuned into this video like halfway through without watching from the beginning, yeah, they would be wondering about my mental health. They'd be like, doesn't that woman know she's got some cheap <clears throat> wig on her head? 
And I'm going to say, yes, I know I do. Got it at Party Center or Party City. You should go get one too. Now, I am going to get some more of this darker red and I'm going to darken up this corner a little bit. We don't want to lose out on this deep, deep red here. My looks always start out so crazy. And I'm not saying that they don't always stay that way, but sometimes I can save them from being too bad. And believe it or not, sometimes I actually get compliments on my look. I don't think I'm going to get it today, but some days. Add a little bit more here. I cannot wait to see the beautiful looks these women come up with. Um, I've always been fascinated by the monochromatic looks that people come up with. I'm just, they're just usually so beautiful. So when Anya, my bestie, asked me to be a part of this, I was just so excited. I was excited because of uh, the meaning behind all of this you know getting to play with makeup is like the best but getting to play with makeup for a meaning behind it means a lot so i was very 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 excited about that and then to hear about the other women involved that was like wow i i couldn't ask for anything better so i was very 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 blessed and then, you know, to be able to just kind of go however you wanted to go, you know, there were no rules of, you know, you needed to do this or you got to do that or your look needs to look like this. No, it was like, here it is, do what you want, have fun with it. And that, mm, love that. I love creativity. I love people that are creative. It just inspires me to try to be better. So, all right, I'm going to do a half cut crease here. And I want to just clean it up a little bit. I'm taking my BH brush. This is my 142. And I love it because it's tiny and I can get it in right here. I think I want to pick a shade a little bit lighter than what I put down. So I think I want to go with this one right here in the middle of my Huda Beauty. So let's see. We got this on my finger. I know I'm using my finger. Ew, ew, ew. Let's tap that down. I like to get like a part of it down and then come back and put some on again with a brush. And I'm getting stuff all over the place and I'm okay with that go into I'm going to close all of these up for the moment and I'm going to go into my Jaclyn Hill and I'm going to go into bomb ass down here and I'm going to see if I can redden this up a little bit because pink is not my color red is not 100% sure who has pink but not me. So let's see if I can get this a little bit redder looking. Okay, we're going to work with this right now. I'm going to take my little trusty makeup wipes and I'm going to clean this little bugger up on my face. I'm going to put some foundation on. Not going to be red. And uh, be back and we're going to have contour and we're going to put blush on and we're going to do under our eyes and it's all going to be red of some sort. And I have my foundation on 
and my eyes are done. I actually even put some red eyeshadow in my brows to redden it up a little bit. I'm also jabbing myself in the eyeball with this hair. Two thumbs up on that, not really. Okay, so I'm gonna use my Jordana Brick Red as a contour. So this ought to be interesting. So I'm gonna use my BH uh, 128 brush cause I don't know what to use it for and I always have it with me. So we're gonna use it for this. So say a little prayer for me cause I don't know how this is gonna turn out, but you know, whatever. Oh my goodness, this hair is getting in my way. And if I push it back too far, you will see my real hair. So we can't have that. Huh, kind of dark, <laughs> not good. But we'll blend that. Always remember to blend up girls and boys. That almost looked like it's supposed to be my blush. But no, it's my contour. What do you think? How bad is it? Horrible? Actually, I don't think it's too bad. Oh, I don't think my boyfriend's gonna take me out to dinner tonight, but hey, gotta live a little. Okay, I don't think that looks too bad. Next, we are going to take our blush, which we're going to use the NYX Ultimate Palette. We're gonna use that as our blush -roony. And we're going to use this little guy here. So we're gonna dab it in just a little bit to get a little brush. Must have blush, cause you know, they don't have red blush that I could find, which I found hurtful. Betty Jean, this is for you. Blush on my nose. Okay, I honestly don't think that actually looks too bad, which is funny as all get out to me. Okay, I want to do a couple freckles. So I'm going to take my, this is from the Grinch palette. This is in the red one. This is the uh, heart one. Yeah, heart three times. And we're going to do just a couple little freckles on our face. I've never done freckles before, so bear with me. So we got our little freckles. Aren't I looking like Raggedy Ann right now? But I love it. I could actually see one like in the corner of my eye. Ooh, I bumped my nose. No, we're okay. I can see this one right here. I'm like, I see you. All right, now I'm gonna take this red eyeliner and I'm gonna do something with my upper eyelids. So I don't know how this is gonna look. I don't know how it's gonna come out. Bear with me, people. Bear with me and say a little prayer. Okay. Now let's do it underneath our eyes. And you know, I'm probably gonna blow this out like craze balls here. I think I will go back into this palette here. I'm gonna go back into my lit palette. First, I'm gonna put down my eyeliner. Now, it is hard to find a red uh, waterline eyeliner. So I have this, this is from Maybelline and this is in terracotta. It's not exactly the red that I would like, 
but it's the red I have. Take my eco tools and we're gonna take this end here and we're gonna go into uh, like it a lot, except for I got a little too much on there. I don't want any fallout right now. And we're gonna push this into our lower lash line. Instead of the terracotta, I thought about using a uh, black eyeliner, but I really did want to stay as much into the red family as I could. I'm gonna take Mercy, this one right here, and I'm ever so lightly going to use that as my highlighter. I mean, I'm barely tapping it into my uh, highlighting brush here. I'm just doing a little bit of a highlight. Not great, but a little bit. I think it helps that I already have highlight still on this brush from earlier. So it's helping it blend in a little bit more. Little highlight on the tip of my nose. Let's kind of dab that a little bit. I'm going to start looking like Rudolph here in a minute. Okay. Almost done, folks. We got our lips to do, and I got a surprise for you for my eyelashes. It's going to be fun. All right, I have this from NYX. I just picked this up recently. This is the uh, Brick House. You know, Brick House. Yeah, I know. Almost there. Now we must put some lipstick on. I pick this up. This is from uh, Wet n Wild. It's called Cherry Pickin', but it seemed red. It seems red to me. So if it comes off pink, I'm going to be irritated. Isn't the most uh, smoothest uh, glide on. I wouldn't recommend getting this uh, type from Wet n Wild. Wet n Wild can be kind of a miss for me sometimes with lipsticks. I don't, once in a while I'll find one lipstick from Wet n Wild that I'm like, wow, this is awesome. But most of the time it's like, they're usually too dry for me. So. All right, I'm gonna go spray my face cause it desperately needs some setting spray on it. I'm gonna do my eyelashes 
off camera because I want you to get the full effect when I come back. Oops. Can't have you see that. Can't have the illusion of my beautiful redness not there. So let me go do my eyelashes off camera and I'll be back in just a moment again. Can't have that. Mm -mm -mm. Stay on, little wiggy. Stay on. I'll be back. Chromatic look using all red. I want to thank all the ladies for letting me take part of this. This was so much fun to do. And I cannot wait to see what each one of your looks are. I know these lashes were ridiculous. And now I 100% regret them. But, you know. They were supposed to be adhesive and just stick on your eye. Adhesive does not work. Just letting you know. You need to glue your suckers down. But they didn't say you could glue these down. And I was scared that I would never get them off again. So I don't really want red tinsel eyelashes forever. So this is my red monochromatic look. I truly enjoyed doing it. I now have a red mess in front of me that I must clean up. But it was quite enjoyable. And uh, yeah, I cannot wait to see all the other ladies and what they do. Thank you again. Have a great day. My lash is falling off as I speak. And I will talk to you later. Mwah. Yeah, those were dumb. Oh shit, what did I do that for? Now I gotta still take my goddamn picture. God damn it. Me mm, not happy. Ah, uh, fudgesicle. Oh, I'm still filming. <laughs>